Karma can be a best friend too. Ucha, Oklahoma, October 21st, 2017. I had worked a double shift. I had told my dear, sweet childhood friend, we've been knowing each other since. She says five years old. I say three years old. I would talk to her in the morning. I was tired. I went to sleep. She died in hers. But memories are real. And I love them. I love all of them. We still talk sometimes. She visits me in my dreams. So when I read Allie Beth Anderson and Melissa Vermillion were childhood friends, I couldn't understand how could you do something like this to someone who was supposed to be so special in your life now. She wasn't special, obviously, at least not to her. Whose idea was this? How did they discuss this? It doesn't matter. The devils, the Andersons, Brian and Allie Beth, devils. Beth claimed the night before the two friends had a really good time, running errands, playing the slot machines, smoking marijuana, and I guess enjoying each other's company. I mean, they've been friends for so long. They knew each other so well, right? The two old-time friends would head back to the Anderson's place. She said the next morning her friend for over 30 years was dead. Authorities would get a call by an informant. It turns out the informant knew Brian Anderson very well. The informer called Brian a meth trafficker. He also said he was a major force in the Irish mob gang. He gave him a thousand dollars a day for, let me put it like this, services rendered and distributing more than a hundred pounds of meth in a two year period across Oklahoma. The informant basically told the police that Brian knew that Melissa had a bad heart and his plan was to give her, quote, the shot, unquote. That's what he called it. Big syringe full of methamphetamine. And there was a video. The Andersons had recorded it all. Authorities had arrived at 212 West Street and he did a search of the home and they found the video. During the discussions, Ali never mentioned a video, but you record things to keep memories, memories you could look back on and this is what the Andersons wanted to do. They wanted to look back on that video. The police would describe the video in the arrest affidavit. Melissa is laying on her back, facing the ceiling. Melissa is asking for help several times. Her best friend is moving the camera around from angle to angle, trying to get the best view of watching her best friend die. This 41-year-old woman Melissa, she was calling out for her mother. 
Ali can be heard on the video saying, quote, This is all my fault. Unquote. Ali even calls Melissa's mother. Her mother tells her to call 911. Allie does. But one hour later. Allie is speaking to a man off camera. That man is more than likely her husband, Brian. You never see Brian. You only hear his voice. The star of this show is Melissa. She's the only one being recorded. Allie would capture her friend's last breath before the filming was complete. Again, after an hour, she would dial 911. But they had to make sure Melissa was dead. Allie told authorities her friend was a diabetic and she filmed the video to show her friend how she acted the night before, but this was only, of course, after the police had found the video. She was never going to mention that video. Police were on buying it. They had already knew, but I don't think Allie thought that. Allie would give the police a bag of meth, marijuana, an assortment prescription of drugs, including muscle relaxers. She told the officer that this bag belonged to Melissa. She would try to make her so-called best friend look like a drug-addicted abuser with health issues that overdosed in her home. Supposedly, all this was done because Melissa knew too much. She knew all about Brian's criminal activities and she might have testified against them. The Andersons were due in court facing drug trafficking charges of methamphetamines with intent to sell. And they pretty much figured Melissa might rat them out. Needless to say, Brian and Allie were arrested on murder charges. On Melissa's Facebook page, it's so sad to know all the love she gave her friend in pictures and posts. Her friend would be the reason she isn't here anymore. On November 11th, 2020, at the Delaware County Jail, paramedics were called. A man was suffering a medical episode of some sort in his cell. He was rushed to Groves Integris Hospital, where he died. Brian Anderson would leave his wife, Allie, to take the rap for the drug charges and the murder of her best friend, Melissa. Today, Allie Beth Anderson, she still sits in jail. Well, let's just hope Allie's best friend, Melissa, comes to visit her in her dreams, like mine does. <laughs>